Hello everyone, welcome back again to FN Engineering channel. Today, we are going to discuss shell and tube heat exchangers, especially the nomenclature and function of some parts in heat exchangers. In this explanation, we divide it into three parts, namely part 1 for tube bundle, part 2 for shell side, and part 3 for tube side. Well, before we continue, please support this channel by subscribing FN Engineering channel and like our video. Thank you. Alright, here are the main subparts of shell and tube heat exchangers. There is tube bundle, cell side, and channel side. The tube bundle is the area where heat exchanger of fluid occurs. Then, the cell side is the area where fluid flows on the cell side. Lastly, the channel side is where fluid flows on the channel side. In general, the channel side consists of some parts, including front head, rear head, and floating head. For detail, you can see some part of cell and tube heat exchanger in this picture. Next, we are going to describe all parts of tube bundle. In order to easily understand, we divide it in, into four main parts such as tube, tube seat, bevel, and supports. For tube, there are two types. They are stretch tube and U-tubes. Then, tube seat has also two types, namely stationary tube seat and floating tube seat. Next, the bevel has some types of parts including transverse bevel, longitudinal bevel, impeachment bevel, and wear plate. Lastly, is the support of tube bundle such as tie rod, tube spacer, pulling lug, and rail. We will explain the function and some notes for all parts of the tube bundle in the next slide. First of all, we will discuss about tube and tube seat. As for the previous slide, tubes have two types, straight tube and U-tubes. As well as tube, tube seat has also two types, which are stationary tube seat and floating tube seat. Tubes have main function as heat transfer area. So, tubes are the important parts of the heat exchangers. Meanwhile, tube seat has the function of placing and supporting tubes. Then, we have some important points regarding tube and tube seat. For each tube, have only used one tube seat. For search tube types, you can see in the top picture and bottom picture. Meanwhile, for the YouTube type, you can see in the middle picture. In the next slide, we are going to discuss bevel. Bevel has some function. The first is to expand and extend the contact of fluid between hot fluid and cold fluid. So, the heat transfer can be more effective. The other function is to support the tubes. Bevels have some parts including transverse bevel, longitudinal bevel, impeachment bevel, and wear plate. Transfer bevels have some types. Firstly, single segmental bevel. Single segmental bevel have some types of cutting, such as horizontal cutting, vertical cutting, and rotated cutting. Secondly, multi-segmental bevel. It has some types including double-segmental bevel and triple-segmental bevel. You can see the middle picture is the longitudinal bevel. Longitudinal bevel is only used for some types of cell and tube exchanger, such as type F, type G, type H, and type J. Then, the impeachment bevel has the function to protect erosion in the tube, 
So, impeachment bevel is attached to the inlet shell. You can see in the top picture. Lastly, the wire plate. Wire plate has the function to separate the face of the fluid, namely the liquid and paper face. It is used in type K. You can see wire plate in the bottom picture. Go to the next slide. They are support of tube bundle, which consists of tie rod, tube special. The tie rod and tube special have the function to support bevel. You can see in the picture, this is tie rod and tube special. In general, a tube special material is same with the tube material. Meanwhile, for tie rod, tie rod can be from solid cylinder. Next, rail. Rail has the function to easily dismantle tube bundle. In general, the tie rod is attached at the bevel. Lastly, pulling lug. Pulling lug is to pull and push the tube bundle. It is typically installed at the tube seat. Then, we will discuss nomenclature on the cell side. However, this explanation will be discussed in the next video, insyaAllah. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have some comments or suggestion, please write on the comment column. And if you get something new from this video, please like my video, subscribe FN Engineering channel, share this video or channel to others, and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time.